we're doing Big Green Book Reviews. Woohoo! <laughs> Today we are going to talk about the book When We Collide, which we can totally see our green screen through, by Emery Lord. It actually looks really cool. That actually like, does if, look if really cool. If the cover cool. looked like that for real, yeah. like, it would be kind of awesome. I think the cover is kind of cool. So this is another summer romance book, and it takes place on an, in a beach community, which I can't remember right at the second. And it features Jonah and Vivi, and Jonah's life has become a total mess because his father passed away, and his mo- suddenly, very suddenly, and he, his mother is in a deep bout of depression for like the last year, and his father's restaurant is slowly going under biz- going out of business, and Jonah's trying to save that, and then he meets Vivi, who is vivacious and exciting, and very energetic, and she comes into his life, and he, she helps him take care of his siblings, and they fall in love, but Vivi has kind of a dark past, and you find out that Vivi is dealing with some mental illness, illness issues, and that kind of threatens their, can they be together, can't they be together, can Jonah help his family, can Vivi get better, and it goes from there, and that's what that's about. So what would you, would you like to start? Um, where do I want to start? I see, because I actually kind of liked Vivi. Like, even in all her Vivi glory, I kind of liked her. She was super quirky, but it's like, she was quirky, and she, I feel like she didn't purposefully hurt any of the other characters, and she was actually a positive influence on some of the other characters, especially Jonah's um, younger siblings. So, I know that you have problems with her. I found Vivi a little overdone. And this is the spoiler alert part. Vivi's dealing with bipolar disorder. And I felt that Vivi's depiction of bipolar disorder was a little stereotypical of bipolar disorders. Um, And I just happen to know a lot of people with bipolar disorder and have a degree in psychology. So that's how I looked at that. Um, Like I was trying to tell Sarah, I'm actually a fan of Emery Lord's books. I read every one. She said this because it's her third book. I've read all of them when they come out. Um, I really liked Open Road Summer. I I did too. Uh, I liked The Start of You and Me. However, I was trying to figure out what was my, what is my, like, basic, because I always like them, but I don't love them, and I feel like she tries to do serious issues that should be, like, in a PG R-rated story, but she makes them safely PG, and it feels not complete. It feels like there's something, like, we're just, like, kind of brushing the surface. It feels like um, a movie that they've made ready for cable TV. See, I don't know if I... If I feel that when I'm reading it, but she certainly doesn't dig deep into the characters. Like at the begin, it seems like in the beginning it it's working and she's there, but like as it goes on, it kind of peters out, and um, she doesn't achieve that kind of depth by the end of it all. It's like you don't necessarily really care that much. Like you don't care if Vivi and um, Jonah are together, or if they broke up, or if their love is true, or what's going on with Jonah's family. Like, you kind of care, but you don't super care, because you feel like the characters aren't enough, th- three-dimensional enough for me to care, if that makes sense. Well, and in this particular book, though, I really didn't want the two main characters together, because he's dealing with so much at such a young age. Like, he has, I mean, ultimately, his mom has completely checked out. It's, there's what, five siblings? Six? There were, there were quite five. a few siblings. Three of the older siblings, one's away at college. Um, Jonah and his older brother, who is a senior in high school, they're taking care of the entire family. Were there two younger or three younger? I think there were three younger, so that would make a total of six kids. Yeah. Um, they're taking care of the whole family. Like They're working on like carpools and making lunches and paying the bills. And he's just got so much that she's kind of going off the rails, deciding not to take her meds, and that probably plays into her mental issues, but the thing is, he's just got so much going on, and it's just like, yeah, she's a good thing for him, but like, I just feel bad that he's he's got so much to deal with at, at his age, and that's it's almost more than one person can handle, I think. Right. Um, or it felt like that at times. That's true. I mean, because she, she would. She brought him along with these dangerous actions, like you know, taking him out on a motorcycle where she's not wearing a helmet, she's not being safe, she's driving fast. That she could have truly injured him, and then kind of even further hurt his current situation. That it was just like I don't know if I like these two together. I don't know if I want them to be together. Right, and it, they. I kind of feel like. 
they're supposed to fall in love, but they fall in love super fast. It's almost like they're both in such these strong emotional places. Because the whole book takes place over like maybe four or five weeks. I mean, and sh- in the beginning, she really is good for him. She, she helps him lighten up, and she kind of brings joy back into the family. But then when things start getting tough and she's not being honest and she's uh, having these dangerous behaviors, then it just kind of blows up in his face as far as it was hard enough for him to get over his grief to even consider having friends and having joy, that when that's taken away, it's almost worse than what it was before. And it just hurts your heart. Well, I kind of feel like it's almost two separate stories that should have been told in two separate books. Jonah going through the everything with his parents and then Biddy's mental illness. And uh, yeah. that might have been the weakness of the book for me, was that I felt like, because it's not a particularly long book. It's only, well, it's almost about 344 pages. So um, I feel like it, need, it needed more. Like, you needed something, either way, just more, just more character development, more story development. And it almost like that's too much to do in one book. I think it would have worked better had you had two separate stories with two separate like love stories and two separate issues being worked with. I, I agree. Um, because I, I liked the characters. I liked, I, liked I super Jonah. loved the Jonas family. I yeah. loved all of them. I super loved them. Yeah, they were um, And Vivi in and of herself, she's pretty interesting in kind of the way that she interacts with the world is very interesting. Plus, I absolutely love, this is a super spoiler alert because it happens in the last chapter, but I super love the mural that she left him. Yeah. Like, she doesn't like saying goodbye, but that's how she says goodbye. And it's just like, oh, it got me in the feels. It was good. That was beautiful. I even remember that from the first time I read it. Oh, my gosh, yes. Oh, it wasn't that long ago. I loved that part. Oh, my gosh, I love that part. So, I mean, she, she's great on her own and he's great on his own but I'm as a reader I'm not okay with them coming together yeah I mean but it it is what it is and people do like people do it it happens in real life yeah it happens all the time but in a book where you can construct the whole like narrative it should be ideal (laughs) right perfect instead of oh that happened I don't know it was just it just seemed like a lot to deal with it's true so so should we read it we should rate it. I'm just trying to... I always have difficulty rating these books. I gave it one fairy. I felt that it was good. It was entertaining. I w- I'll keep reading her stuff, but it's not groundbreaking, and it's not, like, suck you in and have to finish it. I... I think I want to give it a unicorn. I, I really like the right. family. I really liked the family. Like... I loved the family. They were super cute. The little, the littlest girl and their crazy games and the crazy scavenger hunt through town that Vivi's making up as they go. Like, I love the family interaction. So I'm going to go with the unicorn. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's all we have. Alrighty. Adios. Bye.